My name is Victoria Rose, how are you? I think you guys know me by now. Uh, YouTube doesn't show my videos to anyone else except a select few, so the select few that it's showing you to you right now, you are special, please leave a like. Um, today, we are going to dive into something. I am going to reveal long lost footage that I really, really wanted to put out like a year ago, but couldn't because of some very traumatizing, weird experiences. These videos are gonna be the, uh, I can't, I'm like, I cannot hear in one ear. It's so cold out. Up uh, Mary after Christmas New Zealand van life videos and I wanted to release these right now because number one moving on from the trauma stuff number two um, it, there's not a lot of traveling I can do at the very moment so I'm gonna release these which might be two or three um, and number three I'm hoping that it manifests so I can do it again and this time with a better Mental state. So these are gonna be the beginning of the van life trip. Um, the second half of it was kind of ruined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically right, what I had to do right now is find the actual footage because it's not on this hard drive. So I need to go find the footage. It should be in this closet. My 360 camera that I never use anymore. Hmm. I mean, this might be it. This has the footage on it, and let's hook this up. I, I don't even remember what I even got at this point. I'm gonna edit it and take you on a little, take you on a little adventure. It was I was I was very depressed this Christmas. Um, uh, I'm gonna make an update video about everything. I have not looked at this footage for like a year. It's an older hard drive, so it has a lot of memories and stuff. This is like part of one of the hardest years of my life, <laughs> but um, I'm very grateful that I was able to still make some very nice memories for a few days. I did release a couple of New Zealand videos, but this is uh, life as two solo females doing van life in New Zealand. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get into this. Love you very much. Hi, Victoria Rose here. Today's adventure is leaving Australia and going to New Zealand. Okay, so here we are in New Zealand. I just bought a coat, so I'm all prepared now. Um, let's go find our campsite. We're trying to get the logistics done of how we're gonna sleep here. Why are you eating dog food? Like, well, we do have human food. This is one of her things. This is just like us to eat dog food. No, I didn't sleep at all again. But that's the start of my life. Oh no. I left my shampoo open and it spilled all over my bed. Damn, now I have to shampoo. 
shampoo. I left my shampoo open and it's all spilled out. Hopefully we can find Jim that gives a trial a trial pack. Oh, well. We'll have to finesse her away in. But please, finesse. she hasn't showered for two weeks. You having a very Instagram worthy breakfast though. Yeah. Avocado toast. And that guy said was asking about if we got the warning. So it's coffee time. We figure out how to use the stove. The nice thing is, is that we were also able to plug in. There's like an outlet thing so we could charge things at night, but I didn't charge my camera. So breakfast today is just some coffee to get us going because I didn't get a lot of sleep. And then we're going to hit the road and we're going to go to, what's it called? Dun Dunedin. Dunedin, yeah. which is on the east side of the South Island of New Zealand. Because yeah. we wanted to travel somewhere warmer. And it's actually, we woke up and it was not as freezing today as it was the other day it was freezing when we got up there's also been a lot of flooding so there's a lot of water warnings so people don't get sick from the water but we're drinking it anyways but we're gonna you boil it first and we're boiling it <laughs> we're in the shop <laughs> We all keep two things that are like angry. <laughs> oh, I wanted geez. to look cute and pretty. I forgot about that. It is. Why is this. This pot is weird. Anyways, you get the idea. We're having coffee in the morning. <laughs> See, it's hard as this. Really? <laughs> pot. I think we maybe filled it up too much. Just pour some out on the ground. Or pour it in here, actually. Our egg are still. Oh my god! Yeah, I think we just filled it up too much. I wanted a lot of coffee. Well, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, pour it. Pour some more in. Go ahead. Pour some more in. Wait, Adam, yeah. where did I put that? <laughs> That's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug this thing now. Onwards to Dunedin. We're gonna try and find a free um, gym membership pass and get a workout in. So that's so Dunedin is probably like an hour and a half away. Yeah, hour and forty-two. Okay, so in this thing, it's probably gonna be like I don't know, five hours. <laughs> We're running really low on gas, so we're gonna try. And there's only there's a gas station, but it's like 20 miles away. It's the closest one, even though there should be one in this tiny, tiny town. But apparently, nobody needs gas here. I don't know.
we're having some serious troubles with this gas station. It's like you self pay it there, but it's not working. It can be that easy. Why, why can't just there, buy gas. Why is there anybody here? It's like this is the only gas station within like miles and miles. It's always fun times when you're traveling. You gotta be flexible, you gotta expect the unexpected. Yeah. Like not be able to get gas. Yay! <laughs> All our money! Who is that guy anyways? I don't know who he is. I don't know James Dean. Penguin? Is penguins here? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. Lots and lots of penguins. Is there? No, are you being sarcastic? I no, can't tell. I'm serious. Where's the penguins? This is like, it's not confusing at all. I don't know why America has to have the ugliest money, to be yeah, honest. You guys do, actually. Yeah, it's so ugly. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I don't hear anything out there, so I think we're fine. I... Yeah, I think everything's fine. It just sounds like a weird noise, but um, I think we're a okay. It's like cow is looking at me weird. He's like, yeah. uh, I am no more than even you guys know, and I'm a cow. <laughs> Finally made it to the gym. We got a seven day pass here. Hopefully, they'll let us in, even though we're not residents. Yeah, we're not like, I don't think we could fake the, the New Zealand accent. Can you do it? I, I can't do I it. I could do a British one. Yeah, that's not the same. <laughs> I get a workout. I'm starting to say things the Canadian way. A workout. Workout. <laughs> She's Canadian. Pre-workout meal. Yeah. I didn't really eat a lot today. I need to find another campsite. <laughs> so we walked into the gym and like it's unattended. Unattended. <laughs> and the, this guy comes up and he's like, hey. I'm like, hey, do you work here? He's like, no, I'm just here a lot. What do you need? <laughs> I'm like, well, we're, we had a seven day pass. And he's like, yeah, just go ahead and work out. I'm like, okay, well, so we're just gonna work out. That's how I find like Australia was and then New Zealanders. They're very relaxed people. They're not like Japan where everything's like super like, you just sign a bunch of papers and whatever. Now I'm gonna put her through a workout. Oh, your eyes. Beautiful. Oh, wow. It's lighting. <laughs> okay, so she's eating this tofu stuff that's been sitting in the cooler for like three days or whatever. I might die. She might get we'll food see. poisoning. We'll update you. I, uh, yeah. I'm gonna uh, have some egg whites. I'm gonna try to cook them, but it's been super, super windy, so I'm really nervous about it. Oh, we got to our campsite. Yeah, we're at a new campsite. While the wind has died down for a second, I'm gonna try to cook some egg whites right here. And then I'm gonna put them in a wrap with like some avocado and we just bought peas today to put in the cooler to keep it cool. But the egg whites have kind of been not that cool. So we'll see how much food poisoning we get. Oh no, someone's picking up again. All right. All puzzle, like this is very good for this mind. A little bit of tempe. Yeah, you can see that technique. <laughs> oh, <whoops. laughs> you just sweep that. So <laughs> the hardest part is going to be trying to block the wind. Try to do this quickly. Oh man. Where'd my cracked pepper go? <laughs> I think it flew away. <laughs> It's like So we're gonna put it in here. So great. Cut up some 
avocado. <laughs> All right, we're gonna finish our cooking show in here now. Yes, yes, look at that. This is my tempeh and egg whites. <laughs> Do you want to have my avocado? That's not even half. <laughs> <laughs> it's like taking a third of it. I'm giving you more of this avocado, you know, right? I don't really want my. Oh, we got neighbors. <sighs> cool. They'll block the wind for us. Oh, perfect. Done eating now we have to do the dishes soon, but now we're just gonna take like a cat nap. Oh we also have to like take the bed back out. I really need some alone time right now, so this is the way we do this. <laughs> I'm gonna you just can you just like go away for a little bit? I really need to be alone. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, good riddance. <laughs> All right, now I'm alone. Now we can talk for real. <laughs> We've been like pretty in pretty close quarters, but we haven't fought or anything yet. Even though it's only been three days. Yeah. Doing the dishes. Dishwashing lady. There's another one for you. <laughs> I'll do like nine something yeah it's 903 and it's still like light out a bit <laughs> totally forgot to finish my video last night but I ended up editing and then just going to bed and this is the next morning i hope you guys enjoyed that day in the life um every day is obviously very different because the whole point of this thing is to do whatever we feel like doing so it's not always going to be the same but that is one day in the life if you guys want more van life videos make sure that you leave a comment and a thumbs up stay extraterrestrial i'll see you in the next video.